kind of continuing on, folks, and basically the lens shots that you get are massive. I mean, it's amazing how big and wide out that the lenses can shoot. Okay, so let's bleed some more truth for your eyes. Okay, uh, I'm basically just going to zoom, and I do all this stuff on the fly. So don't worry about fancy editing and stuff like that. But as the last video, uh, because by the time I upload this, as you can see, the brightness that we get up by the super giants to the right, okay, and I'll blow it down at the end of just scrolling through this to the right. Look at the vast amount of it's up here. And yes, folks, we, I do know and you realize I showed you CMEs before through space, and this is CME action, some of this, okay? So this is CME action, but as you can see how far and up, okay, and we'll keep scrolling down, and you will notice that there is way more than just the sun out there. First off, no matter what guarantees, if you don't believe that this is sun actions and basically sun stars in the Supergiant's main sequence and space, there could be more than just the Supergiant's main sequence given this light here, okay? But it's right here, beginning there, it just makes you go, holy crap, yep. And then even just there. Now we're gonna go to some video that's going to make you even more holy crap and like it's yeah because no matter what we know the sun is supposed to be and I keep harping and preaching 10 point something Jupiter's which is the biggest thing we know of, of a star planet in our Milky Way galaxy and we know that basically when we see these shots we see more than just the Milky Way galaxy okay so as we go to this and now let me put this to 400 again and it's like well he's did this in the last video what the heck's he trying to Okay, or I mean, I'll just get it to 100 because I had it at 400. Okay, there. Now let's go to some videos. Okay, and because you can you can scroll back to this, folks. Okay. Now I'm just going in order. I got B here sitting here. Now uh, you're going to see flaring here off of B. Okay, and then you also will see what you see that they that you are seeing below because we know what the sun is. Basically, they're letting you know how big the sun is by showing you that little circle. Okay, and they have a big cover. Because they're looking in, and they have a laser that'll end up finding the sun every day. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure that we probably went through, and I think that took the 22nd. Now there might be 23rd footage. I'm not sure. I just went and loaded what I had. Now remember, this is from each camera. One's ahead, and, and the other one's B, and this is ahead here. Now watch the flaring of the sun. And I won't even put my cursor up there. Okay. And you can realize that the idea they're showing you how big the sun is by that little disc. Okay. Now that's what's coming off the sun. Okay. Now, we may just be getting footage of just the sun, but it's starting to look as you watch here that, and don't, I am not psyops, not trying to cake bake or fake anything into your mind. Your eyes are going to tell you what you think you see and so forth and so on. Now, we could just be getting all separated layers just shot of the sun. Now, we know they have to use a laser to find the sun every day, okay, and just boom, they turn it on, bam, okay, there's the sun. Shoot the footage. The satellites are aligned to look at it, and then they propagate out of their lens shots every day of what, okay, this is the sun moon, and then they have layers, okay? Yes, Venus has given us a pretty good show because you can go research Venus. I'm not even going to show data on it, but I pretty much know that Venus and Mercury are pretty much not much bigger than the Earth if they're even that, okay? So as you can see, with all that CME action, all the whatever... What we have, our coronals, our hemispheres, everything distance in our coronal that protects us here on Earth and keeps oxygen, the trees help us breathe. The trees die off and the green dies off. We're screwed, folks. We'd have to grow it back. That's why seeds are so important. And that's why everybody has certain concerns about certain things about seeds is very important because we can't just have it all die off. All right, because that gives us oxygen. If we don't have trees and greens, we don't get oxygen produced here. In it I mean water has oxygen. You know, hyd I'm not going to get hydrogen. I'm going to start doing a science class. Screw that. But the idea that, and we know I've went to some symposiums and, and heard some symposiums and talked to some damn smart scientists. The idea that as long as we have our atmosphere, we're not going to lose our moisture. You boil water, the moisture will be hanging on your all over your room. It'll be on the roof. That's why you have humidifiers in the wintertime to keep the static electricity down inside your house if you're intelligent, smart, and do that. Okay. 
Now, you might be accidentally giving yourself a humidifier when you cook food on your stove and you get humidity and moisture off your stove, ladies and gentlemen, okay? We're never going to run out of water. The quality is one thing. Okay, then we get in this footage here of from A. Now, this is to the left of A, okay? Now, don't get me wrong. They could spin the lens around on the satellite, but what we should be seeing is left of the sun and of the supergiants, and as I showed you in the earlier shot, and this is mostly all CME action off of the sun, but you have to keep in mind, keep watching the footage and go back to the beginning of this video and start it over again. And everybody has come to the realization, and tons of people know, that there's at least known to have been four suns in, that would be bright stars, in the Milky Way galaxy that were up close to by the sun when it was ever not in the supergiant's main sequence, but then the idea that maybe it's always been in the supergiant's main sequence. That's something that, if anybody wants to be a smart ass and show all the knowledge they know, why don't someone email me and prove it to all of the people that look at my actual data here at Being All Black. And keep your lips wet, folks. Taking a little drink there. So anyway, uh, knowing exactly how long the sun's been in the supergiants. Has it always been in the supergiants' main sequence? This is just always, and we know that there is 100 stars, 101 if you want to include the sun, and the sun is a star, and the earth was a star at one time and died off, okay? And we cooled off, and we have a volcanic magna inside us, and the idea that every time a volcano goes kaboom, it is basically giving us ash to cool the earth because the sun and the supergiants, where we are going through time and space, this has happened more than once. What we are going through in area in space, a clock, we go around in a circle and follow the sun. And the sun goes into the supergiants, or has been in the supergiants, or is in the well, which the sun is in the well. And this stuff happens all the time. So let me give you some more footage of, and I'll see if I can get to 23rd, but I'm not even going to worry about that too much. Now, what's very interesting on this one is if you can see up here, there is very interesting star action up here to the right. Now, I'm not sure if that's what we caught on that one video that I'd, uh, I'm not going to go back right now, but you know that on the blue background of either an A or a B shot that I ended up going like, okay, what is this up above Jupiter? Remember that video, folks? Okay. So, we know the sun and the supergiants is all the way to the left. Well, even though a CME might be hitting some planet or something out in space from a giant CME from where you know the sun is to the left on this shot, no matter what, I got my cursor right here, and we got something very interesting going on and flashing. And what planet would it be that to the right side of Saturn when you're looking at B? And wow, we got some really wild light action. Check that out. I'm just starting to notice that, folks. We have light propagation coming through space from here. Now, we do know there's a project, and I, I left a little link. There's some hocus-pocus BS in that on the idea of them telling you about these uh, solar reflective mirrors or whatever they put out there to deflect sun energy out there in space. NASA only knows the top secrets of all that. There is no man-made volcano on flipping Earth to try to fake everybody out about putting ash in the air. We, they're chemtrailing, folks. Everybody in America has seen it we are keeping our air conditioner on okay and we make it snow when we want it to snow and we make it not snow when we don't want it to snow so in this one is I'm basically gonna finish this video out here because you can keep watching this and listen to me babble but check that light propagation coming up from the right now the only thing I know is the idea that we don't know uh, well, we know that a laser is like a pencil line, just like what you see on Saturn and everything like that. That's their magneticism of everything's dangling on a hair, a straight hairline of magneticism out in actual straight like a laser. OK, so when they shoot a laser up to find a planet and stuff like that from those observatories and stuff like that, it doesn't spread out. Like when you keep seeing this flash from on the right hand side of the screen, you see that flash that just happened and it's going to happen again in a little bit. See that flash. OK, so. There is very interesting something else out in space, and there are, we just basically there's stuff happening in space that NASA needs to pick up the pace a little bit and get a little bit more for common knowledge people that have a brain and intelligence and are interested in looking at this stuff because 
there is definitely, and they're probably going, holy crap, too, because they're, they've had people find these little comments and this like pissy little stuff for the ID that's nothing even the size of Lovejoy and all the other ones and stuff like that, and they make a little article on something that's really small moving through space and stuff like that. What about action like this? Because basically we have some kind of massive light propagation that's coming from the lower right, and this is B, so this is behind and B, so the idea that basically, folks, when this is shooting, okay, B is from behind the sun on positioning in your mind, and just go look and research it, okay? And I'm not going to make a fool out of myself right now because the idea that we have that light propagation shooting up from way below where that Sechi sign's at, okay? Now, we know that when we're sitting on looking at a map, well, we're centered on the sun, and A is on the right-hand side of wherever you're standing on Earth. And because we rotate towards the sun. The whole Earth does, okay? So A is always up to the right when you're looking at the sun, okay? And then B is to your left. So B is shooting on the left-hand side of Earth's view of the sun, okay? So when it's doing that, and that's the sun to the left, and it's behind, that's fine. That basically bright right in this flash that keeps happening is somewhere unless they have their lens rotated well it doesn't matter it's behind Saturn okay so you figure out on the time of day to this shot that, that light flash in that up in the right hand side is happening to the right of Saturn okay in space okay so that's it so this is very interesting footage. Let me see if I can blow that right upper corner up. Okay, you pretty much know that I'm at the same shot. I don't have to wait time for you and everybody knows I'm factual. So you'll see that big bright flash of light. And we've seen tons of stuff like that up by the sun. But this is totally because we know the sun's all the way to the left. And you know that that's a planet or a star up there to the right that's flashing. Okay, reacting to... CMEs, which are coronal mass ejections from the sun, and as you see coming across, it basically could be that CME action. You can start to see the cloud of that CME action, but there's also something down to the lower right that goes flashing through, because basically I'm going to bring you down now. So we know that that is some planet up there, or star, or something that is reacting, just like we have always show that it's not a inner camera flare. Planets actually have a CME re active flare that their atmospheres because everything's probably got a different atmosphere at least that's what we've always think because that's what NASA now that's what they're always they're scrambling around going like well god can we trust all of our data what how many different what atmospheres what atmosphere on what planet are we can it I would think they're all their data is pretty damn good but as you see as I scroll down here to the right we're going to get a blown up view and check that out I think I'm up at 400 percent or something like that and you'll see that flash come from this lower right okay big flash and it's not a laser, folks. It's too damn huge and wide. It's bigger than planets, okay? And then it comes up and it connects and f connects in with this CME. You can see the CME action here coming across space and going up to the right and then affecting a planet or a star up here to the right. Totally awesome, because here comes some CME action and there a whammo. CME action and whammo. Some star planets up there reacting to and giving a CME reaction again. So, no inner camera flare, folks. This is all real crap. Real, not crap either. Scientific, factual data, right? Shooting you between the flipping eyeballs. Truth of what's going on out in space. Let me get you up to like 150 here to show you that there's no cake bake, folks. This stuff's all going on out in space. And that's what it's a whole wish. Because they don't even know what the flip's going on. They're looking for their toilet paper. So, anyway, they know history and time of ever since like 2000, 2001 when it went up there. Well, these Soho cameras. So, and we got another one going up to look above the sun, I guess. So, very interesting action. And if it got boring with you on looking on this, basically, there's just too much crazy ass new factual action going on out there folks in space this is amazing so no matter what the uh, earth and stuff should be over to the left because that's sun behind and even if you scroll it up like a tube doesn't matter earth is out there somewhere and that's our sun's 
and the Super Giants and everything over there to the left. And also a very interesting fast moving star right there. Check that out. You see that right there? That's very fast moving through a day.